Hey everybody! So it is Saturday, April 4th, and I am on call today. I'm on call until 6 o'clock tonight, and so far nothing has popped up. But it's still kind of hard to leave the apartment really when I'm on call. I just, I get stressed out if, if scheduling calls me and I'm not already at the apartment because then I have to like finish whatever errand I'm running and then quickly get back and pack and change and get ready and everything. So when I'm really like low to be called, I kind of just hang around. So I thought that this would be a good day to get some blog work done. And I also was thinking for my YouTube channel, since I've clearly not been very current with either of them, um, I was thinking that I'll start doing just kind of a day in the life type stuff where I just do this and I bring my camera around with me or in this case my phone. But yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to start out just doing kind of like um, post one, post once a week, everything that I did that week. I'll just kind of give y'all and more of a better idea of um, the life of a reserve flight attendant at the very least. How awesome it is and also how stressful and annoying and um, overwhelming it can be. I guess we'll see how this works out. Alright you guys, I am on a mission. The trestles that I want for my desk um, the Ikea in Charlotte has four supposedly in stock right now. I went earlier in the week and picked up the top of the desk, um, but they didn't have the trestles in stock. But online it says that they have four, so I am trying to get my butt up to Ikea and hopefully they have the trestles. If not, then whatever, I'll just buy different legs because I really want a new desk and maybe the new desk will encourage me to write more. So well, as you can tell, I am in a hotel room because, oh, literally, like, as soon as I was pulling into the Ikea parking lot, scheduling called me, and I had seven minutes left of being on call. It just sucked because I had just driven, <laughs> I had just driven up to Ikea. Uh, it's like a 20 minute drive. You know, I call scheduling back and oh, it's an all nighter, which means that I'm on duty all night, which means that I only get a few hours in, actually in the hotel. I mean, I just, I can't sleep right now. My mind is racing, so that's why I'm doing this. Trust me, if I could, if I were able to sleep, I would be. Well, I was less than thrilled. I didn't even get to go into Ikea, so I just wasted gas with that. The flight was supposed to leave at 8.20 and then it got delayed a half hour because of a maintenance issue. We didn't end up actually taking off until a little bit after 10. And then we landed about quarter, no, we took off a little bit after 9 and then we landed about quarter after 11. And I'm in Boston, P.S. Just about when we took off a passenger he wasn't very nice at all he was mean and grumpy and asked me you know how much longer we've been sitting here an hour and i looked at my watch and i was like well we were supposed to take off just a half hour ago but they just finished up we're shutting the door and we should be pushing back soon and i guess he was giving our lead flight attendant up in first class. He wasn't in first class. He was right behind first class, but I guess he was giving her kind of a hard time throughout the entire flight. And we weren't doing anything wrong. We were doing everything according to procedure and did our service how we were supposed to. And, um, I guess he spilled his orange juice and then expected her to clean up. Like she picked up all the ice and everything, but we don't have anything to actually like clean the carpet. We just kind of soak up as much as we can. So when we landed, about quarter after 11 or so. I guess he got off and told the gate agent that he was gonna write up every single one of us even though we, there's really nothing that he could report about us because we didn't do anything wrong. This whole trip has been a fiasco. We have to be on the 6 a.m. flight uh, so our van is leaving the hotel at 5 and it is quarter after 12 right now. By the way, I was not able to even run into Ikea. I just got there, got a trip, and because I only had two hours to get to the airport, spent 25 minutes getting back because there was some traffic, packed, put my face on. I have to leave for the airport usually about an hour before I actually have to be there, so it's been a pretty hectic day, and the mean passenger doesn't help 
What's really kind of frustrating about that, about when passengers get mad at us, I don't care for mean passengers, especially when it's because of a delay. We're sitting there doing the delay too. If the door is open, we're not actually getting paid for that time. Um, I mean, we're getting minimal, like per diem, because we're um, on duty, but we're not getting our actual, like our full pay for that. And we want to get, especially something like this when we're landing late and then we have to wake up early for the first flight out the next day. We're already not getting a full night's sleep. Like, trust me, I am just as upset about this delay as you are. Any flight attendant is just as, you know, frustrated about the delay as you are. Just be nice to your flight attendants. Unless they're grouchy to you, there's just no reason to be mean to us because we're in the same boat like we're stuck on the plane too we're not getting to where we want to go I mean it's I just I don't understand it I also don't understand and now I'm just getting into a tangent this is why I can't sleep because my mind is just racing the amount of people like so this plane had a hundred and almost 180 people on it and I sit there and say hello and goodbye to pretty much every passenger, you know, unless they have headphones in or are clearly on the phone or something, but pretty much every passenger, and the amount of people that don't even, like, look at us when we say hello or goodbye is astonishing. If somebody says hello or goodbye to you, you at least acknowledge them, but just the amount of people that don't even look at us and that just walk right past as if we're not even there, it's just, ugh. It's just shocking to me that that many people just don't have the manners to even acknowledge another human being that is acknowledging you. People are, people shock me. People really shock me. Now I understand why my boyfriend always, well not always, but he has mentioned a few times that he worries about me <laughs> being a flight attendant because he says I'm too much of a sweetheart. He worries that I let passengers walk all over me, which I don't, I definitely don't. But it, some of this stuff does get to me, and I know it shouldn't, but it does because I just, I don't understand it. I'm gonna go take all this off and brush my teeth and get four hours of sleep. I'm back, and I slept, and I'm feeling a little bit better and not quite as exhausted, um, but I'm still a little pissed about the whole situation. It's too early, guys. It's just too early for me. It's 5.50. I've been up since 4. Uh. I have a 7.30 departure, which means I have to be at the airport by 6.30. But guess what? I'm going to Seattle. Yay! I finally got a decent trip because I have been working nothing but like crappy trips. Not just like boring trips, but they were just not fun. Not, I mean, not even not fun. They just weren't good trips. They were hard trips. And I know it's part of the job, but I got one after the other and each one was worse than the one before. And that has been going on for about a month and a half. I am beyond excited. I will wake up whatever hour for this Seattle trip. And the best part is that I'm not even working the red eye back. It's a regular, normal flight during the day because red eyes kill me. Oh my God, red eyes suck. In Seattle, woo! And the sun just came out, so I'm gonna walk down to Pike Place Market where they have the throwing fish and awesome fresh fruit and chocolate pasta and it's gonna be just great. That was a very carry-on sentence, but oh well, it happens. Also, it's opening day in Detroit, so I've been getting the updates on my phone. Go Tigers, woo!
had an awesome time walking around the market and waterfront and eating so much food. There's going to be a ridiculous amount of cardio being done today and tomorrow. And it's Thursday night. I didn't vlog yesterday because I was off and I didn't really do anything special. Groceries, worked out, laundry, basically just stuff that I can't do when I'm on a trip. And it was just kind of relaxing and yeah, that was pretty much it. Wasn't anything too exciting. Today was a lot of the same stuff. I just kind of prepped all my meals and I was on call. Well, I'm still technically on call. I'm probably not gonna get called now just because it's late, it's almost 10 o'clock. So I have to go to bed because I did get a trip from Future, um, which is just, you know, it's a trip for tomorrow. It's a good one, guys. I don't know what to do with myself. I got two good trips in a row now. It's a long layover, which a long layover is just more than 16 hours. So they put us in a hotel that's a little bit further away from the airport and near stuff like activities and or mall or just stuff so that we're not just sitting in the hotel room board. I have the long layover in Detroit. I get there first thing in the morning tomorrow and then I leave Saturday morning and have it work a couple flights and have another long layover in Los Angeles though and I've never been to LA so I'm pretty excited. I, honestly I might just go lay by the beach. I get back like Sunday evening or something or other. I mean it's not like a crazy special trip but Tyler my boyfriend only lives about an hour away from our Detroit hotel so if he doesn't go home to help out his dad then he is going to drive over and spend the day with me. We just got to the hotel in Detroit and I am going to take a nap before I go work out and shower and then Tyler's gonna drive over from East Lansing and I'm so excited to see him and Giddy. Hey. And this is what a 13 hour day looks like with eight hours in the air. So I'm just sitting here watching um, vlogs with my cereal and I realized that I'm supposed to be vlogging and that I was going to do a week at a time. And I started um, not yesterday, Saturday, but last week, Saturday. Today's Sunday, but the last time the where I just cut off was Friday morning. Tyler came over from East Lansing and we hung out for the day. We got pizza and we watched a movie and we got Cold Stone. That's kind of it. We didn't really do much. It was just nice to see him and spend some quality time together. Saturday, woke up really early. Detroit, Charlotte, Charlotte, Los Angeles. And I was just so tired and our hotel room in LA is really sucky. Um, so I really just kind of slept the whole time. My first time in LA and I slept. Woo. Today again, woke up really early, did LA to Charlotte and then Charlotte to Orlando and then back here. And now I'm home. Tomorrow morning I am getting on a plane and going back to Orlando to visit my friend. So that is how I will start my next week's vlog. Um, and this one will be ending uh, and I'm going to bed.